Hello everyone, we are back with Glenn Velvet Reviews here, and uh, I got these um, brackets um, that are supposed to go in and out uh, from the wall to make like a, um, I guess a compact table, not portable, um, but it would be called compact. Uh, so I got these off Amazon. This is how they came. This is exactly how they came out of the box. I didn't even open them yet, but this is, uh, they came in this white box. Um, so they're made in uh, China is what it says. They're new. So they give you some anchors in here, um, I guess. Hopefully these anchors are good. I'm not sure of the weight capacity. Uh, I think I got like a higher one. Um, I'll, you'll know the, uh, the um, what's it called? The name brand and the weight and stuff like that. Uh, I'll put it in the description. Um, but these, I, I'm pretty sure I got the more heavy duty ones. Oh, I didn't bring a razor blade that I... This is mostly for my girlfriend, um, so she can have, like, a table to fold out when she wants to work on her laptop, uh, for her work. So, that's what I pretty much got this for, to just make it easier for her. So, I'm not sure of what countertop I'm gonna use, though. Uh, just to let you know, I'm not sure. Like I said, these are gonna go, uh, just like this. Uh, this side is going to go to the wall and it's going to go like this. You're going to see me install it and uh, pop it in. And um, Let me just check what countertop I'm going to use. I marked where the studs were. Um, stupid me. I know I marked them with a marker that now I have to clean off the wall, but I should have just used tape. But anyway, I marked them where they're going to be and that's where the studs are. And that's kind of where I'm going to... Um, install the brackets i wouldn't if you're going to use this for a lot of weight or plan to have a lot of weight on it i would not uh use any kind of drywall anchors or anything like that it probably doesn't make sense if you're planning to hold you know over 100 pounds i probably wouldn't take that chance i don't think i'm gonna have 100 pounds on it but i have the kids here and i don't know if they're gonna put all their weight on it or how much weight and if two kids at 50 60 pounds each put their weight on the table i don't want to have a you know a bad issue you know so and uh these brackets are rated for 440 pounds i know that's you know far you know whatever they're probably you know if i put 200 pounds we'll probably but even if I doubt 200 pounds with anchors in the wall is going to work, so you're probably going to want to put that into a stud. So we got the bracket. Uh, these are the brackets right here. I'm gonna ins we're gonna uh, drill them into the wall. Like I said, um, I always like to pre-drill first, so I am gonna pre-drill before I put the bracket in. All right. So I can't fit the drill in between here, so I'm gonna have to um, mark where I want the uh, holes. All right, so I'm sorry I didn't go over the full installation of installing it, but this is kind of what it looks like. Uh, I just ran into issues. Um, from what I found out, you need an extension to drill it in. Um, you need something long to be able to drill in these three screws right here, uh, just to let you know. Um, so I had a problem. I had to go get the um, extension that I had, and then I installed it. You're going to want to make sure that you make it level with the other I don't have a long enough level, so I'm going to have to get something to stick the level on. So... Alright, so, um, so I'm going to pre-drill mine. Now, the only thing I notice is that you do need an extension bit unless you're going to use a long screwdriver uh, to be able to get through. Yeah, if you don't have a long enough extension bit, you aren't going to be able to, you know, get it to that top one. Because uh, look how long that is, and you can't fit the drill in there either. So that's just to show you as well. Um, just to get it started... Uh, but then I notice I have to use my 36 inch extension bit. I I can't find my 12 inch, otherwise I'd use that. You know what I mean? I I know, but I, I just want to get this done. And um, I'm using. I got that in. That's kind of it. 
they are a little um, not as stable as I thought. I mean, these were, uh, I'm not sure how much, I don't remember, 20, 30 bucks maybe. Uh, so they weren't the most expensive, but um, probably if you go with the more expensive uh, one that's for like a thousand pounds or something, it's going to have way different brackets here and everything, and it's going to be way sturdier. I, I think this should serve its purpose. I mean, I'm hanging on it now. Um, and it feels pretty sturdy, but we're going to pop on the countertop. We're going to drill it in. We're going to see how it goes and we'll do it from there. And then we'll finish this review and just show you how, you know, you can, you know, use this to pretty much, you know, put in your, um, to make a more compact, I guess, uh, countertop space or whatever the hell you're going to use it for, but to make it more compact if you live in a small space like I do. All right. Hello everyone, we are back with Glen Velvet Reviews and I just wanted to put an update and add this to the video, I don't know, whatever. Um, but anyway, um, so I finally got to uh, put in these brackets, this is the um, tabletop, it was a leftover countertop that I had from one of my properties um, that I used uh, to put in the uh, counter for the uh, kitchen, I think, you, I think I did a video on that, I don't remember. Um, but anyway, um, this is the leftover, so I was like, why waste it? So I wanted to make a desk for my girlfriend on that side. So you'll see what's up, how it folds up and how she uses it and how it works or, you know, whatever the case may be. But I didn't do a install on the actual putting this on, but I, you know, whatever. So all you do is it's so easy. Coral's able to do it. So it's very easy. She even just, you just put your hand here, grab, and you make sure you hear the snap click hear the click so when you hear the click you're good and that's it so pretty much yeah i know mine's ugly because you know i this is a leftover piece i have a bunch of the um you know whatever these are called the fillers or you know whatever the panels these uh these covers or whatever so i i, I have a, like six feet of that left over so i'm just gonna glue that um you know all around and fix it when i get a chance but that's pretty much what it looks like um from the bottom you could see how it looks like all I, they give you three holes i drilled in three holes don't make them thicker than what your counter is because if you go through then you're going to damage your counter and you'll be crying so make sure you see how thick this is um you know mine is like i think uh, one and a quarter or, or one and a half I don't know one and a half one and a quarter it is um and uh so I use like I think one inch uh number three screws um I used so I put them in over here actually no I didn't use number three I only used uh small screws but whatever there's three holes and you drill them right into here and that's it and then when you want to uh put it down let me show you very easy uh the only thing is coral has a problem putting it down um, because, uh, you know, it's six foot long. So, you know, you have to expect it's going to be a little difficult for her to put, um, six foot long because it's pretty heavy. But for uh, an adult, it's very easy. It's great. That, uh, she can uh, use her, uh, laptop on the corner over here. That's why I made it a little wider because she could put the chair under here and her legs won't hit. And then, uh, she can be able to, you know, work on the laptop. All right, so like I said, it's uh, very simple. So you just come over here. Um, they have different versions now. Uh, when you're shopping for these, the cheaper ones I noticed, the latch to take it off is like all the way in the middle here. Um, so if you're getting really long ones, look for the one that has the, the, uh, the release latch. Look for the one that's like at the tip of it. This way, you know, you don't have to reach under. Because if you're making, if you, if you make it two foot wide and the thing is 12 inches, I have a bad back. It's a pain in the butt to like stick on, you know, stick my hand under there. I rather have her right at the tip. But if it's at the tip like this one, all you do is this will be the end. Just grab it, pop these in, clicks, and that's it. And it goes down like so, out of the way, and then you can do your cleaning and everything. These things are great. Uh, we used to use them in the field a lot for uh, a lot of the restaurants uh, in the office and stuff like that so they can consolidate space. So it worked really good for the uh, the restaurant uh, managers and stuff. So it was pretty cool. Uh, so that's it for uh, finishing it up. Uh, that's it for Glen Velvet Reviews. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I would love to know. Also, subscribe to my channel. Join me on my review adventures as I try to put up stuff to 
help out the community, just like I can help from the community. All right, everybody enjoy. Be safe. I'm out. Bye-bye.